It was a specially sunny day in Funky Valley. So sunny that the sun had got its hat on. In fact, all the animals in Funky Valley had their hats on. Their best hats, because today was the day of the Funky Races. I suppose Horatio will win again, snorted Porker. Porker always said this, because Horatio always won. Why does it always have to be Horatio, said Gertrude. Because Horatio is the only horse in Funky Valley, said Porker. Gertrude thought it was someone else's turn to win. We need some competition, like another horse, said Buster. That's right, Horatio's getting too big for his horseshoes, said Porker. I'll have a go, said Shelly. You? <laughs> You're the slowest animal in Funky Valley. Where can we find another horse? Wait a minute, come with me. Uh, ah, what about this? What is it? A pantomime horse, of course, said Gertrude. Front or back? asked Gertrude. Just then Hoot the Owl arrived. We have two contestants for today's funky races, said Hoot. Horatio, winner of the last 16 races, and challenger, pantomime horse. Ready, steady, go! And the two horses set off. And they're off, said Porker. Horatio the champion horse is first past the orchard and over Dippy's field. Pantomime horse takes the lead as they jump Otter's Brook. It's Pantomime horse in first position coming up to the finish line. And what a sensation! What started out as a two horse race is now a three horse race. Pantomime horse first and third. But Hoot declared Horatio the winner. After all, he was the first to get both halves of himself over the finish line. But it's not fair. We must find someone else. What about me, said Shelley. But just then, Dippy rode past on a monocycle. Just in time for the race, Dippy, said Buster. And before Dippy knew what was happening, she was in the second race. But it wasn't long before Dippy found out that the monocycle didn't have any brakes. Once more, Hoot declared Horatio the winner. And the other animals wondered if they would ever find someone fast enough to beat Horatio. Let me try, said Shelley. Oh well, if you want to make a fool of yourself, said Gertrude. Horatio got ready for the easiest race of his life. After crossing the orchard, he looked back. Shelley had only just left the starting post. It was time for an apple. Or three. After crossing Dippy's field, he looked back. Shelley was miles behind. It was time for a munch of grass. After leaping Otter's Brook, he looked back. Shelley was nowhere to be seen. It was time for a drink. After all the apples, grass and water, Horatio yawned. <laughs> it was time for a little rest under the old oak tree. Some time later, Shelley walked slowly past the horse. But Horatio slept on. <laughs> and was woken by a loud cheer from the valley. <laughs> oh no, he said, as he made a dash for the finishing line. But he was just too late. So that was the day Shelley won the funky races. And the hungry horse ate humble pie.